when I became the president of Panama, I, won, I wanted to give my people an education system that is more equal. So I saw that a lot of inequality was in the, edu in the language. Because I wanted to give the Panamanian students of the public system a more equal education system to invest in the future generations, making sure that they speak English as a second language because it's a global language. Because many of the jobs that our service-based economy creates require English as a second language. So if they don't speak English, they're not going to be able to apply for the jobs that our economy is creating. I want to make sure that all the students that graduate from our public high schools in the next 10 to 12 years are level 7 in English, so they can apply to different jobs and also they can study all different careers that, uh, in different universities worldwide and be able to work not just in Panama but in other countries. I'm very proud of Panama Bilingue. I have seen how more than 6,000 Panamanian teachers are going to be trained in schools, uh, universities outside Panama, and how they're bringing that skills to our public schools in Panama. My name is Alison Cross. I'm the Deputy Head of Mission in the British Embassy here in Panama. The British Embassy has been supporting the Panamanian government um, with the Panama Bilingue programme since its very beginning. They've developed Panama as a hub. It's a logistics hub, a transport hub, a service hub. But there's so much more that it could have to offer. And one of the things I think that the government has identified that has been holding back Panamanians has been this lack of a global language. Um, I think the programme of Panama Bilingue through training teachers who can then train the next generation of young students in English means that they can compete economically. It opens the door to jobs for them, it opens the door to tourism here in Panama. They can travel and they can access so many different commercial opportunities. My name is Eneida Lopez. I am the director of Panama Bilingue. I do this as a pro bono position and I look over the whole process of the whole program, Panama Bilingue program. It's a program also considered as a way of making education uh, available, bilingual education available for the poor of the poorest, the ones that are in very far away regions, that they will be able to apply for a scholarship and then study and then bring their families out of poverty. So it's an education program, but it has a lot of social things around it. When we train the teachers, we do not only teach them English, we teach them leadership and also methodology. When they go abroad, they do classroom observation in different schools, in different countries. So that experience has changed the attitude of the teachers. We met with the person that did the global scale of English. We, I was very impressed and I read about it and I said, let's, let's try to do it in Panama. Last year, we started to measure the level of English of the elementary school students that started with the program. And in the after school program, we started to measure the, their progress with a test called progress also because that's the only way we can say we have been successful. This idea of testing has helped the teachers realize that testing is something very positive and that they can see with the global scale of English that their students are learning and that what needs do they have and where do they have to improve. So that there is always room for improvement. I have seen life change. I have seen the, I have seen students from high school uh, be able to apply for scholarships abroad. I can see students from elementary school that are, they are bilingual, that they can speak not only English or Spanish, but they can also speak their native language. I have seen very proud parents, very, very proud teachers. I have seen a change in the way teachers teach. And for me, that's the most important thing of Panama Bilingue. But uh, 
the end, we have seen that the parents are also convinced that English is a key that opens many doors. My name is Maria Lourdes Peralta. Currently, I'm the general coordinator for a very important project for the country. The name of the project is Instituto Técnico Superior Especializado. It's a new vocational training school in Panama. We would like to see all the students graduating as bilingual professionals. Actually, that is, is one of our goals in INSEE. In addition to uh, receiving technical classes, all the students in ITSE will be required to take English classes as part of their curriculum. So by the end of the program, they should be at least a, a level B1 when they graduated. So they will increase their opportunities to be successful in the, in the professional fields. My name is Ives Espino and I am currently in charge of designing the curriculum, the English curriculum for uh, Instituto Técnico Superior Especializado, ICSE. The, the most uh, helpful uh, thing about the global scale of English has been the fact that uh, it ha it's aligned to the Common European Framework. Uh, I selected Versant because I think it's the most complete uh, proficiency English test that is in the market. Uh, and it's not only the best, but the most complete because you give the you give a report. The score report comes with a very um, detailed um, information about. I would say that the main main um, goal for creating a bilingual population is the job, the job market, and international you know companies have come here and they need um, uh, staff, you know, bilingual. Uh, workers and also they get paid better. We are